I huh? do around town here when I'm not working. Hey, but uh, there's a place, Aspen Court. Uh, it's a hostel. Hostel? Yeah, you can wash your clothes and stuff there. Down that way, about four blocks, three blocks. Aspen Court. Uh -huh. Are you going north or south? Uh, to south. Oh, are, oh, you going going toward Grand Prairie or? Uh, Red I will Shore? ride. I will ride to uh, Banff. Where? Banff. Holy. Before I travel into, I want to travel in Alaska. But uh, I ride to Watterson Lake and oh. come back. Holy fuck, you're in good shape. Yeah, you know, you can't, yeah, refuse. <laughs> but uh, through Banff, you know, there's hostels there, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and there's a mm. hostel here, Aspen Court, you can wash your clothes and stuff, eh? Well, dude. You got, you got data? Yeah, 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 yeah. Aspen Court. Uh, at the hotel? No, no, it's a hostel in BC. Here, Fort St. John, even Fort Nelson, even Watson Lake, before you get to Whitehorse, the old Fort Nelson has a hostel. It's a town that died. It used to have oil and gas, but it, it's died about five, no, about eight years ago. It's really been quiet up there. Yeah. They got a nice hostel. Nobody even uses it. In BC, always remember every little town has a hostel because taxpayers pay into it alberta uh -huh. alberta you have hosteling international or you have a salvation uh, yeah. army hostel that uh -huh. yeah you, you somebody will steal your bike but, uh, but, but uh, bc yeah. we got hostels uh-huh uh, uh, how much one one night or uh i think it's free free yeah it's free and uh it's free here fort st john fort nelson in BC, it's free. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's two types of hostels. There's the Salvation Army hostel that nobody really uses. Well, they people use it. The locals use it, but this one is called Aspen Court. A S Aspen oh, yeah? uh -huh. Court. It's just down there. Okay. But uh, everybody. But just a uh, free toilet or no? Yeah, yeah. You can. Uh, they'll wash your clothes if you're going to spend the night. Oh yeah. And even probably put your bike inside. Uh huh. It's called Aspen Court. Oh, yeah, okay. In BC, just remember, even in uh, Cass Creek, there's a hostel. Oh, yeah, that's very important information. Well, I never. Crazy weather yeah. up here, it could <laughs> snow and all that. And, uh, I never and, know and it. <laughs> around Fort Nelson, because uh, the town died, animals are all over town there. They got cougars, they got wolves. Oh, yeah. They in, even had a grizzly in, bear. In Fort Nelson, I checked one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's free. <laughs> yeah. Before uh, in first news accident, somebody got me to that uh, hostel. Oh, right on. Yeah, I never paid. <laughs> yeah, not in BC. You don't have to. Um, uh huh. There, you actually, when it was booming up there, yeah, you get welders who are making thirteen hundred dollars a day. Look around. Nobody's using a the hostel. They'll go stay there for free. Yeah, yeah. They, there's a little <laughs> bit of cheating going on. But yeah, yeah it's called Aspen Court. Uh huh. It's a white building. Oh yeah. Check it out. Okay, I've got This one?
。啊，我现在就是总算明白了，就是加拿大 BC 省，它各个地方、各个城市都设立了一个，嗯，类似补给点吧，因为疫情原因，然后设置的。就是在里面住，嗯，就像旅馆一样，所有的设施全部都是免费的，就是外来人员都可以到里面去住。因为我曾经在纳逊堡和斯纽森，就是住过一个礼拜，每天都有，就是管吃管住啊，什么都有，然后免费。然后刚才那个骑友，他估计也是从外面来了。看到我了，然后就把我带到这儿了，啊，满了，正好我今天也没打算在这停留啊，那接着走呗。不过这种地方还是蛮蛮不错的，因为考虑到就是各个营业场所大部分都是关闭的，像特别是旅馆，我昨天住的营地也是关闭的，就没有就是服务。所谓的没有服务，就营地里只有水，然后卫生间关了，呃，浴室关了，然后其他的所有的设施全部都关了。我电可以充，水也可以用，但是你不能洗澡啊，你不能上厕所呀，然后你不能在营地里随地大小便吧，这特别不方便。嗯 ，WiFi 也用不了。那干嘛要待在那呢？那这个地方估计是，除了你可以住之外，应该是没有 WiFi 的。它有点像民宿的那种感觉。你一住进去之后，所有的东西自己解决，呃，厨房也不能用。嗯，走吧，继续向南，骑去班夫。Let's go。